Hey everybody, CNR rocking the waves, getting flagged. I'm Chrome Dome, he's Rabble Rouser. He's tall and I'm bald. That's pretty much what it's going to be. We really don't give a fuck, so we're going to have a good time tonight. Especially after all the weird stuff going on in the world, we figure might as well bring you some smiles. And happy Friday the 13th. I know a lot of you people feel as though, hey, it's a bad luck day. Well, screw you because it's a good luck day for me all the time. I don't know why. I, I really don't know, Rabble. Really? 13 is always... Friday the 13th is always my lucky day. I don't know why. The best shit happens to me. You're just that guy. I am that, guy. that guy. I am that guy. <laughs> uh, what is it? Today, they had the whole Friday the 13th marathon on Sci-Fi. Oh, I'm, sure. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, yes, yes. And going back to what we had episode uh, three, actually, when we were talking about scary movies, a lot of the shit came true. Oh, what are you doing? Here, woman goes back downstairs in the basement while Jason is stabbing her boyfriend. Why? He tells you to run. You run up the stairs. Yay. Now I'm going to run back downstairs. I'm going to try to kill him. Here's something, too. They played Freddy vs. Jason. Have you ever seen Freddy vs. Jason? No. And actually, it's debatable. But here's the thing. After you kill Jason and Freddy, kills her with Jason's uh, machete. Jason is, like, dropping and floating back down into the water. Here's a question. Why would you drop the machete back down into the water? Why are you rearming the bitch? Why? Why are you giving him back a weapon? Why are you not burning the guy? Like, just finish him. Because God, you know, because, like, Jason doesn't have a home underwater. I, I don't fucking know. That's where he always fucking comes from. <laughs> I, 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 do, I don't know. I, I really don't. I part, Ladies and gentlemen, with scary movies, you're just stupid. <laughs> you're just fucking <laughs> stupid. There's so lack of common sense there for, and it is so rich just dumb to the point of no return. It's horrible. <laughs> but uh, anyway, this last week's, just want to say, sorry for the delay between editing episodes and recording episodes. I went away to school because I want to just do broaden something. Broaden your education? Broaden, broaden my education. <laughs> just get a big boy job outside of retail hey. <laughs> and uh when i moved in moved on uh, moved in all my stuff unpacked everything then okay i'm here i'm gonna go to my fraternal brothers just hang out haven't seen them for a while have a few beers whatever so i was just at the house just hanging out with a few of them a few of them were just at a party down the street like it was well uh, moving day everyone's partying happy to see each other not causing trouble at all until, at so they say so they say <laughs> Until a party just down the street from the house, the fraternity house, there was a fight and uh, between one of the brothers, and it was this black guy, and he basically pushed the the brother's girlfriend down the stairs. She whoa, didn't, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, 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 really? Yeah, she didn't fall. She just stumbled down a few stairs. Like it was just like the porch stairs. It was like three or four. I don't stumbled. care who you are. You, no, no guy. I don't give a shit what yeah. your color is. You don't do that crap. No, no. <laughs> and the boyfriend just like, oh. Hell no. Ran up the stairs, grabbed him by the backpack, threw him down, and just beat him. Like, I wasn't there for this. So, this is yeah. all I'm hearing through word of mouth. And uh, he comes back to the uh, fraternity house uh, with his girlfriend. His knuckle is just, like, broken. His hand's just, like, bleeding. He's in, like, pain, but he's like, it yeah, I'll drink fun. a beer, I'll, I'll walk it off. <laughs> He basically did, like, he, I, I gave him a beer, someone handed him a cigarette, just, like, to take the edge off the pain. And oh, exactly. He, someone drove him to his ho house to, like, so he could bandage up and whatever. And it didn't, it maybe took, like, it was a good five, ten minutes before. It wasn't an ambulance that came to rescue him. It was a technical rescue truck that came <laughs> to go get him. <laughs> <laughs> and well, hi, how's it going? We're the technical rescue. We're the we're, where's the ambulance? We're like the we're like the junior. We're the rookies of the ambulance, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't get like a picture. Well, I didn't get to see the guy. Like, not that I would want to. But <laughs> everyone like was just like, you hear about that party on at so and so street? You hear about the party on so and so street? And the guy was like. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you love stories like that where I was like, hey, did you hear about what happened this? Did you hear about what happened there? Yeah, I was a first-hand witness of that shit. <laughs> yeah, and the guy who, like, beat, like, defended his girlfriend's honor yeah. was just, like, in a bad mood. Like, Do you blame his, him? Hell no. no. Someone Hell pushed no. his girl. I'd, I'd curb stomp a motherfucker if that happened. <laughs> but anyway, one of his uh, friends that was at the party swung by the fraternity house to see how he was doing and with as soon as the brother and his friend made eye contact the first words out of his mouth dude rick killed a guy they just busted out laughing like that was that like one thing like you just needed that you one need friend. to hang low man <laughs> you know you should just lay low for a little bit <laughs> yeah and he that was just like that one joke that just needed like just needed to re see. reset his mood 
and thankfully it worked. I actually had a, well, I, ladies and gentlemen, I have started school back up as well too, and I know Ravels, um, at least a couple episodes ago, said that I graduated. Well, I actually don't have a degree, and I do what I do with very little of a degree, actually. I'm an electrical engineer. And this is a little success baby fist pump story. It, it truly is. It, it made me smile. So go to I go to class one time and or recently when I started. And what actually got the whole ball rolling is I took this professor. I had him in the past and do so well in this class. And he we were talking about what I do because we stay in contact. And he goes, Yeah, you know what? You should join up this class again. All right, sure, no problem. Join back up. You go into his office. Little did I know that he also shares an office with a teacher uh, previous that I didn't do so well in his class earlier. Wasn't really a big fan of his teacher. Now, I'm also going to go back about four months earlier, earlier before class even started. I know this teacher even more recently than being three or four years ago because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm an electrical engineer and I actually build transformers and ductors and generators. I'm not going to tell you what for the company because they're not paying me enough and they're not sponsoring us, so it's all good. <laughs> but this gentleman, this teacher that I didn't do so well. This fine fellow. This is fine gentleman. I do say. <laughs> He is an owner of an electrician's company that we actually build pieces for. Now, who do you think he came to, and who do you think also had to talk to, run him through the mathematics, show him what we do, and build every piece for his electrician's company? This guy right here. I knew him the moment I took, the minute he walked through the door, I'm like, oh my god, this is not going to be good. Didn't recognize me one bit at all. Why? Because back when I was in his class, I had hair. And I wasn't wearing glasses. <laughs> so, <laughs> now, taking him on a tour, he's not even questioning my mathematics. He's going through, he goes, yeah, it looks pretty good, looks pretty good, blah, blah, blah. The minute, now, not even backtrack, fast forward to the day, talking to my teacher. Guess who walks in? Looks at me, he goes, hey, nice to see you again. By the way, you know, shaking his hand. He goes, I never caught your name the first time. So you know what I have to say is my name is such and such and I took about I took a class with you about three to four years ago didn't do so well only reason why is because wasn't really interested in how you taught now I'm back here to finish the job and the look in his face I will say priceless as I was shaking his hand was holy shit <laughs> number two this guy is right on his mathematics number three he's an engineer number four I should probably double check all those pieces that motherfucker just made for me because I don't trust him anymore <laughs> now <laughs> about three or four days into my class keep talking with him everything like that he's still amazed that I'm doing what I'm doing <laughs> and I told him I said do you check your pieces he goes every goddamn day just to make sure. I feel kind of insulted, but it's also a little success, you know, success pump because as everyone says, prove to everyone else that you can do it and you can do that the best you can. Just show them. This was one of those moments where you're like, yeah, that's right. Screw you. I win. <laughs> just the look on his face just made my day as I walked out the door. It's like, yeah, walk out feeling like God. Just saying, yes, I'm king of the world, bitch. Pigeons fly out as the doors open. Just oh, like it's a miracle. <laughs> there was a heavenly glow. Just to glare off my head, I'm sorry. <laughs> as expensive that was, as that would be, buying all those pigeons just like release as the door opens. I would enjoy that way too much. I think I would too, but the problem oh, is, is catching those little fuckers again. No, 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 no. Got a bad take on that burrito. There you go. <laughs> Better one? No, shit. <laughs> Capture him again. Damn it. <laughs> How many tranquilizers are we going through? I don't know. We're going to have to start reverting to BBs. I don't know. <laughs> talking about capturing no. them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peter. It's just a joke. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, Peter, if you get if you're getting serious about this, it's just a fucking joke. A lot of you some starving kid in Africa would prefer such a good meal. It's just a fucking joke. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not that I am not sure if we have any PETA listeners, but speaking of our listeners, we'd like to thank you for reaching the small accomplishment this past week of getting a hundred total views for all of our episodes that we thank you and no that's just not us watching it over and over and over again to get our hopes up no this is you ladies and gentlemen we thank you very much now we're just shooting for 150 and then 200 <laughs> small feats just baby steps at a time baby steps like you can't start running until you take the baby steps but 
since you uh, brought up that uh, whole like joking about eating uh, pigeons and whatnot, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Every, like, for, like, dorms and whatnot, you have uh, a floor meeting. Yes. But for my apartment, we had that because it's uh, technically a dorm suite. Right. So still have those. But it was just, like, the mandatory beginning of the year floor meeting. Like, hi, I'm your RA, blah, 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 blah. And hi, my name's Phil. Hello, Phil. I'm crazy. Oh, shit. <laughs> hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. <laughs> just remember, don't walk by his door late at night. <laughs> 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 but anyway, me and my well, my roommates and I, for you grammar nasties out there, so w- we all have like generally this a similar sense of humor, especially my roommate Mitch. I can say his name just because he's not listening. He don't give a shit. <laughs> he likes our page, but anyway, that's good. <laughs> Hi, Mitch. <laughs> Hi, Mitch. Hi, Probably. Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, court uh, the room R A. If I could talk. Was uh, just going on about oh yeah these are the policies da 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 and there are no pets allowed in the room except for small fish because we've had instances in the past where we've had abandoned hedgehogs and other like small rodents and mind you this building I think is no more than five years old so- hedgehogs and abandoned rodents. Really? I'm waiting for someone to bring in a raccoon or a dog and go, it's, the dog go, it's an overgrown rodent. It's all it is. Right, like, a little yapping chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, that is a rodent. Well, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Mitch isn't sorry for what he said. Just in the back, like he said it loud enough so I could hear, was, uh, and this is the quote I wouldn't tell you before we ran through right. ideas, was, uh, there's no such thing as abandoned pets, just uneaten dinner. I could not <laughs> stop laughing. Like, I'm doing the hand over the mouth, like, tears going down the eyes, just doing that. Oh my god. I had to, like, basically walk to my door and back just to, like, <laughs> laugh it up, just get out of my system. And <laughs> that is horrible. I thought that was hilarious. Like, it is horrible like, and hilarious. <laughs> It's, a, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> Those are the best. And the, our room is sur- like, it's a co-ed floor, so it's like boy, girl, boy, girl. We're surrounded by girls. The girls. And, and, <laughs> and mm, one of my other roommates just like took the blunt of like the lux because like I Mitch is just standing there like he did nothing just wrong. Just shrugging his shoulders like what? Do something. Really, do something. No, he's just standing there with this, just this grin on his face like yeah, I said it. <laughs> I walked away like I got like my face in my hand just like oh god just like I cannot. Game over. Game over. I cannot breathe at all. Like, <laughs> my abs were on fire. Like, just could not stop laughing. And the girls all look at my other roommate, just like, what the fuck is so funny? Like, for all we know, we're laughing for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and if by the end of the, this school year, I'm going to be so much. You thought I was a bad person now. You're I'm going gonna- <laughs> to be so much worse by the end of the year because what this kid said. Like, if he starts off the year like with a quote like that, <laughs> I'm going down with him. <laughs> and for that, I thank you, sir. <laughs> you just reached dark side level number 99. Got the rope for you. Get down to hell. <laughs> Devil's 99 darks and a light ain't one. <laughs> I don't own that song. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting sued. <laughs> I will say, I actually had another. All right, have you seen the movie Stripes with uh, with Bill Murray and uh, um, all of them? I can't even remember the name. Who's the guy who played Uncle Buck? Oh, uh, John Candy. Yeah, John Candy. Bill Murray, John Candy. Pretty much, it's ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't seen Stripes, it's all of these people, you know, who are just down on life low on life and you know want to find not just find some purpose but join the army because you know it's a recruiting time and it feels as though you know they can they, not just they can do this but they're like yeah sure whatever well i was down over at um msoe one of my former schools and they have a you know rotc training program right you know, everything of that sort so i'm walking with some friends and this is why if you've seen stripes you'll know exactly the scene i'm talking about in the movie where they're learning how to march. They're like learning like the left, right, left, right, left, right. They're all staying in place. And every time you see them marching, they do something which makes the movie so much better. So, as I see all these ROTC, you know, gentlemen and ladies walking on by by me and my friends. And I got about seven of them. There's about nine or ten of them on the other side of the street. And they're actually walking. It looks like they're marching. So, what's the first thing that comes out of my mouth? I start, I start singing like they do in the movie. 
as they're practicing marching, get all my friends, we start doing the same thing, step at the same time, I go, there she was, just a walking down the street, <laughs> singing do a do 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 We all started singing it as we're marching. I kid you not, the ROTC kids got a few glares, the other ones just started laughing their ass off. So then we started double timing it as we're jogging jogging and just started singing our ass off in sync while we're marching. We'll march up to these guys like, hey guys, how's it going? Where are you going? Nowhere in particular. She just kept on. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like we followed them all the way to the library and they, one of the guys, I think it was like one of their superior officers or whatever, he heard about the whole story because I guess someone was texting him. He came down, he was pissed. He goes, hey, what are you doing? We're like, nothing. You're making fun of us? No, we're complimenting you. We figured we'd give your boys and girls some music to march to. <laughs> God bless you, sir. <laughs> Saluted and walked away. You have some fun. Jeez, if you got to stick up your ass like that, for the love of God, relax. <laughs> well, I think some of those people just have like well it's that, a sense of pride like we yeah. were talking about the marine from bar rescue i get it yeah. there's a certain sense of pride and you know yeah. you're serious about it but there's a part of me wants to go hey it's okay just a little Take like a deep breath yeah just, a little, yeah just a little slap on the face like lighten up it's okay lighten up francis come on <laughs> bring the asshole just shake him <laughs> <laughs> you're so on tight <laughs> breathe damn it i say breathe stop sucking in your gut i am not sucking my gut oh shit <laughs> Motherfucker's gonna be top heavy sooner or later. <laughs> Push him off, <all>, run! <laughs> if you see a crater, that's where you know where he landed. But, uh, <laughs> this past Sunday, Sunday was the first week of the NFL season, and uh, pretty much. And we're not gonna go over all 32 teams just because. Why? Because the uh, Chicago Queers just sucked. Oh, I'm sorry, Chicago Bears. Oh, uh, last time I checked, my Chicago Bears are one and zero compared to your. Green Bay Packers, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, how, no, what? no, 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 say it. What? What? No, say it. No, no. Say it. <laughs> oh, in one. I did not, I did not even say that. <laughs> oh, I said it. Actually, you know what? I'll say this for all the teams. And if you won one or you lost one, just remember, ladies and gentlemen, and for people who are just scratching their eyes out in their fantasy leagues, one game does not make a season. It truly doesn't. <laughs> It was the perfect NFL weekend for me because my Whitewater Warhawks won, Wisconsin Badgers won, both my fantasy teams won, nope. the Bears won, the Packers lost. So Fuck you. <laughs> and to make it even better, uh, my fantasy football team named the Fail Marys. Aaron Rodgers was my quarterback. What happened to the butt fumbles? Oh, that's my other league. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, quarterback, one of my highest scorers, still lost a game. So... Good weekend for me. So, yeah, I definitely would say that. Uh, for yeah, you. but uh, in, in all seriousness, uh, you guys like went up against a stacked 49ers team, and uh, you, you got, yeah, I mean the run game was good, but our oh, yeah, like Eddie La Eddie Lacy showed some flashes of what he's going to do for you guys. And good for him, and mind you, not to take anything away from your defense, okay. which, it but, sucks. It's okay, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> To easily get run over like that on a 49ers offense, it's not even close to full strength. I mean, they have. Well, no, that, yeah, and I've heard that countless times where people will go, oh my god, our defense sucks, our defense sucks. And then part of me wants to go, hey, you know what? The run game, you did shut them down. You held, you held them, which was real good. Yeah. But it's your freaking secondary, which you can't hold the middle, and that's the part that's killing. AJ Hawk, if you're listening, you can't cover for shit. I'm sorry. You just can't. You should be a defensive lineman. You got the size. He does. He really does. That's just my personal opinion. Like, yeah, and I kind of have a similar opinion of AJ Hawk. Like, I think you should get rid of him. Like, he. he I think you and ha or us and half the goddamn state believes that. To well, yeah, but they wanted him to be a, a, basically another Clay Matthews, but never gonna happen. Oh, never no, gonna happen. No, no, because Matthews has that fire. Inside him, Matthews kind of has the hair, which all the girls go, "Oh my god!" I swear to God, that if you cut the hair, he's gonna lose all his strength. It's just one of, one of these times he's gonna be a little snip, a little lock. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> but uh, AJ Hawk does remind me of uh, Aaron Camp. Like, yes, yes, he does. He tried to be a, a outside linebacker, didn't do so hot. Then he ended up playing like a few extra years as a defensive end, which I think AJ Hawk should do that because uh, I think he'd actually be better with that because he's got he's got the speed for it, he's got the size for it. I think he's just trying to kind of lead the back 
like lead the backfield and part of me wants to go don't even bother with that just really don't yeah just draft someone else and start over well yeah uh, oh did you hear that recently after that game the 49ers game did you see the the quote unquote infamous tackle the sideline tackle that was out of bounds to Kaepernick yeah yeah did you know Clay Matthews got fined $1,500 yes he did $15,000 for that that was announced uh Two days ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't I was, believe that. <laughs> I mean... Part of me wants to go, oh, you know, I guess, whatever. The other part of me wants to look at it and go, the National Nancy Flag Football League. Well, yeah, like, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, like, Kaepernick was, like, just about, like, and it's getting all, his foot, like, out of bounds. Yeah. Like, right before, like, Matthews was still on the ground, so... But you also have to look at it this way, too. And I get, you know, Clay Matthews, if you're listening... <laughs> sure. Do what you're not, but it's cool. <laughs> you're reaching your hopes, buddy. Yeah, I, hey, I can dream. <laughs> Why? Well, <it's> like, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> a few months later down the road, he's going to be listening, going, hey, they're making reference to me. You're fucking awesome. Because he sounds like this. <laughs> yeah, I God, God, God forbid if he does. But um, no, he, he came up before the game, and the NFL kind of freaked out because they were asking him about the game and what the defense would do to stop. 49ers offense he pretty much came up and said you know what we're gonna hit him hard and we're gonna do this we're gonna do that and it sounded threatening which it did it you know coming from person you know people who play defense in football yeah it didn't sound that threatening it sounded like you were it's playing normal <laughs> it's on normal you're like yeah pretty much you know it's just a little it's a little trash talking the nfl freaked out about that and that's why when it happened the 49ers were like threw up their hands and what the heck happened now i get it you know he was getting out of balance and you know he wasn't committed to the launch but still, you have to defensive guy to defensive guy. When you got the momentum, you're really not going to stop on a dime like that. I don't care. Oh, oh no, no. And that's but. why I, well, I get where you're coming from, but I get where everything else yeah. is coming from as far as the he already knew he was going to jump that yeah. next step, which is what yeah, he did. He, he knew he was going to jump. But one thing about the momentum, like, yeah, like mo most players – who would have been in that position would have just like veered off just, just or something ran like that. through it just like you know just like right. get, just like put a hand on him or whatever just run out of bounds no big deal but Clay Matthews isn't most players like you know what Fuck he it. probably still had like he wanted some revenge like $15,000 that's like 5 cents to those fuckers so it's like that's oh, like whatever a series worth for Clay yeah. like with that new pretty Brian much yeah. new extension yeah it's almost like he knew he was gonna get fined by this year <laughs> well it was also the placement of the hand like when he came down because his hand actually looked like it was right on Kaepernick's chest by it, the it, throat it, it did it and, did, but... and everyone freaked out when it was like it just slipped upward come on <laughs> <laughs> it just slipped <laughs> it sounded like he intentionally was like yes yeah, so I got you by the jugular Boom. Don't get up. <laughs> if it was later in the game, that he would have went for the jugular. I think. <laughs> Go for the jugular. The jugular. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, you you guys like as much as it sucks to lose, and it, well, yeah. especially like opening weekend, you guys have some like great things to look forward to. Not as bad as our high school football team last night. <laughs> last night or tonight? Last night. They oh. played on Thursday. They played on national TV against. Rookies. It was a division game. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Let's just say uh, the people that I was hanging out with, um, we've come to the conclusion that we probably won't be going to games. We're, our Friday nights and Thursday nights are going to be open from now on. We actually might head up to a bar for dinner because it just looked bad. Really? There is no pass game, all run game. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. Our defense couldn't do one thing. Could hold them in a couple plays, but it's high school football. I get it. Yeah. But if we were in the stands, me and the group of older gentlemen, and we we critique it like every person who's played football or you know every football fan, we're sitting there yelling at the refs. But it's high school football. Oh, yeah. We still don't get that through our brains. <laughs> yeah. It's just fun stuff. You know. The only thing I wish they would do. I mean, it's that sense of once again, it's that sense of pride. Like it's personal. Like yeah, exactly. What roots. are you doing? That's not a holding. He grabbed him by the face mask. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Not dirty. It's just what we did. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, it's playing, honestly. Let the kids play, as we all say. I believe that you should... And this is me. There should be a VIP section where you just sell alcoholic beverages... <laughs> just like a beer or two, because I guarantee you, the schools would bring in more money. You're not promoting booze to the students, because it is the adults. They should be there to have a good time as well. Yeah, you just need to be 21 or older to get in that like certain section. And they have always, they always take 
police officers and everything like that. Yeah. And, and you know what, ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to me and you're going, that's not true. You're promoting drinking. Bullshit because all high school kids at some time or another when they're at a football game go out and pregame before the game. And yeah. we've had, we I've seen that many times where cops like patrolling the games have you know called kids out and said that too. Oh, you! I was just mouth, washing my mouth out. Yeah, right. Okay, that's gonna disappear in about two minutes. Nope, your eyes are still like not responding. You're yeah, you're. Don't tell me you're not. Yeah, you're young and dumb. I get it, but be responsible. <laughs> yeah, all I'm trying to say, like responsibility is it. It helps build trust, like responsibility and accountability, which are nearly the same thing. Really helps people trust you. Doesn't help much that lack of common sense is involved on the damn time. <laughs> oh yeah, well it's high school. Like I'll admit, I didn't have very much common sense at all no. in high school, and thankfully that has changed now. <laughs> but. For better or for worse, we're still debating on that. For better, thank you very much. Are we sure about that one? I'm positive. <laughs> but, uh, oh, back to when you said uh, everyone has a, mo most kids have taken a drink since high school. Yeah. Well, in high school, a few na names have come, come to mind, but I'm not going to say names. Like, we just know no, that me, me person too, yeah. that just gets plastered a few times a week on school nights. Why? Like They still do it every night, and they go, it's not a school night. No, I have to look at them and go, it's a work night, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, back to football. I'm, I was watching my, my Bears and saw a bunch of great things. Like, yeah, they didn't go up against a team like the Niners, but they still went up against, like, a young, talented group. Yeah, the they did. And uh, generated three takeaways, which is nice to see, like, we're still taking away the football. Mm -hmm. And thank God, and all Bears fans will agree with this, that we have a tight end that can catch yeah. <laughs> oh, you finally have an offensive, a decent offensive weapon now? Yeah, besides Brandon Marshall, Earl Bennett, and uh, Matt Forte. Exactly. Which, uh, <laughs> Take it back, but it adds yeah. to the arsenal. It's it's nice to see it. it. It's re refreshing. Yeah, it really does. And one of the huge errors that people have criticized for the Bears, offensive line. And, um, yeah, I'd say some people have. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a, always a huge issue that people bring up, and... We had two rookies start on the the right side of the line, and one took the place of Jamarcus Webb before he was released. Jam and Jamarcus Webb, thank God you are on the Vikings. Like I don't know what's a bigger insult: getting cut by the getting cut by the team you started six years for, or getting signed by the Vikings. The latter, personal opinion of mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me, you know. In that game that they played against Detroit, that was a slug match, but Detroit actually did look pretty good. It was like a slug fest slash fumble fest. Like it was like yeah. both teams experienced the highs and the lows at the same time. Like it was a great game. And funny you bring that out because uh, I was watching that game and mm -hmm. streaming the Bears game online because uh, the campus cable can only get like so many games at once. And uh, it was an interception that the Lions linebacker had up. Uh, Levy when he ran it mm, back, yeah, and Sue hit the guy when he's already behind the ball carrier, and he basically has like the pick six locked up, right. just like clipped his uh Sue. knee or whatever. Yeah, Sue's got something wrong in his head, something very very wrong. <laughs> like I get like making a block at all costs if like the ball carrier is behind you. You want dirty, that's dirty. But if you are behind the ball carrier and you know you're not going to be able to block anyone else, just, like, keep running. Just, like, try to catch up to him. Like, don't. You're basically hurting another player and taking out his career. I, I agree with the whole fact that football is a gladiator sport. You know, it's something where you, you know, just man up and do it. But when you get cheap shots like that, that's, all right, from one guy to another, that's, like, another person just coming up and kicking you in the nuts for no apparent reason whatsoever. Yeah. It's not called for. It truly isn't. You know, it's like the fight is done and over with. All of a sudden, dude, you, as you're walking away, a guy just walls up and just, boom, right in the nuts. Where it, yeah, you're pretty much, well, number one, I'm, you know, my, my testicles are lodged up inside me right now. <laughs> then number two, it just it does nothing more than piss you off. Now, granted, when you get back up, if you can, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to go, you know, confront them? Yeah. And I would not doubt that this gentleman is going to do this the exact same thing. So I already know the league's finding them. Oh, but yeah. but uh, still, I would imagine that there's going to be a lot of bad blood between that. Well, I'm like it was a hundred grand, I think, this time. Yeah. Well, he's yeah. done it like what was it two or three times before? Was it, it two or three? Because I remember him uh, stomping on Dietrich's mixed arm, him uh, kicking Matt Schaub in the groin, and then um, I think it was this one. And that, yeah, it was this three, one. Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, I thought there was another one where he clipped up someone's ankle, but I could be wrong. Well, Whatever. he got fined for a hit on Cutler. I'm pretty sure. Yes, that was it. Because uh, I was watching uh, ESPN before class one day, and it was going over like all the list of fines dating back all the way to 2010. They and were, he's four. He's four. I think that who's got the most? Uh, I still want to say uh, James Harrison is still ahead of him. <laughs> Not by much anymore after that hundred grand. Oh no! Imagine that. I think he's within ten grand finally. Like to go goal to shoot for. <laughs> I, I guess, but uh, Packers play the Redskins this weekend, which that should shouldn't be much of a contest for the Packers. Well, I hope not. Granted, injuries are how well, the defense plays. Like your your defense is like a, inconsistent. Like they can be one of the best in the league when they're good, but they can be Holy in the bottom shit. six. Yeah, it times. depends on what defense shows up. Like, um. What I've been here, what I witnessed, RG three is now going to be more of a pocket uh, quarterback now due to the fact that he doesn't want to re-injure his or you know Redskins don't want him to injure his leg. I get that, yeah. But here's the thing that you got to look, look about is if you, that front four or whatever Green five. Bay front five that Green Bay run no that Green Bay runs on the defense. Oh, sorry. Front four. If they were as good against. Forty uh, Niners as far as holding the run game, and that's just push block. Yeah. That's that's not you know somebody just standing you up, and they're pushing right back trying to get somewhere. Yeah, it, he's got to drop back in that pocket, and he's got to just throw it right away. Otherwise, he's gonna have a world full of hurt coming down on him, oh, yeah. and that's gonna be from Matthews all day every day. That it's gonna be an interesting game, person. Matthews, if not a. Uh... Johnny Jolly, he looked Jolly, good. Jolly, Jolly looked, looked really good. good. He, he did. He's back. He's back, and you can tell he he's ready to play. Yeah, like, he's ready to play. Like I before the last game, I looked up like uh, his path, like how he got addicted to. Uh, I forgot what the drug was, but he got addicted to drugs. Got basically he turned got his life around. Yeah. Kicked out of the league and was like, I'm kind of rooting for him a little bit. Like, he, he's that com- he's the comeback kid right now, the yeah. Green Bay Packers, which is. You know, something that people, now I'm not saying you can rally around going, yeah, I used to do drugs, don't come back. It's something where he's kind of showing people that, hey, you know what, I made mistakes in my life. I'm back yeah, here to finish no, the perfect. job. Yeah, Yeah, because at the end of the day, like, we're still, like, humans. Like, yeah, I freaking hate the Packers, but, like, I'm not going to wish that they all die in car crashes. No, because, like, it, as they're, a, they're people. As a person, you know, your character speaks more volumes than the team you actually play Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Like, it was, I saw the character, not the, not the team logo of the jersey, which right. I'm not that much of an ignorant prick. But Okay, we're getting a little too deep about this shit. Whoa, Come on, whoa, anyway. Whoa, whoa. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What do we get philosophical on this one? God damn. <laughs> School starts one week. And we pull- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, because we got a couple recommendations about saying that they like uh, the drink specials we've been throwing up, we decided this is going to be a permanent thing for this uh, for our episodes that we do today's drinks we have the dirty girl scout shot ooh. <laughs> ooh, you're going to dirty girl scout i got introduced to this one by one of our friends who i've never had this shot before he's like oh my god it tastes just like a thin mint you know, cookie it does it tastes like a thin mint girl scout cookie it is delicious. Hold up, hold up. Get, just give people like a second. Just like right, get a grab piece yeah, of paper. Yeah, grab grab a pen and paper. We'll wait. Three. Okay, go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Girl Scout shot. It is one ounce of vodka, one ounce of Kahlua. Which, if you don't know what Kahlua is, because you haven't watched TV, it's a coffee liquor. You have one ounce of Bailey's Irish cream, and then one ounce of white cream to mint. Shake well. Boom. Dirty Girl Scout shop. I kid you not when I say it tastes like a Thin Mint cookie. It is delicious. And the second one, it's kind of a simple one, but one that I despise. I got a little bit of a background history to this one, mainly because one of my friends, who was a bartender, and she knows I love drinking tequila. Now, I do love my tequila. Tequila, you do. I do. You're more of a Patron person. I, 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 I am more of a Patron person, but, uh, you know, it's it, good stuff. It is. But if it's expensive as shit, though. Well, of course. <laughs> That's why you know when somebody you know buys me a drink of one, or I just buy myself at least one or two, and that's it. I've had people go, hey, "Here's about four, five. I'm like, "Good God, I can't turn this down." Give it that. <laughs> but if it's dark, like dim lighting, and there's flashing lights there, I'll drink brown tequila. I'm not a fan of brown tequila, but I will drink it. So she gives me a shot of tequila, and then she puts a glass in front of me. No idea what's in the glass. She goes, "You need to chase it with that." 
Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if you've already beat me to the end of the story, the shot is called a Puerto Rican hooker. Yes, that is the name of the drink itself. This is one shot of Jose Cuervo Gold and one shot of pickle juice. Oh yeah, the, the look on your face is exactly priceless because that's what I had when I'm sitting there drinking it. It is horrible. <laughs> but we have some of our friends in our group when uh, our buddy who had a party going on over Labor Day, which I hope you had a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Brought some Patron over. What's the first thing you do? They grab the pickle juice. You better not ruin good Patron with pickle juice. I swear to God, no, I, no. I would have killed somebody. <laughs> no, not, not Patron. But what happened was is I knocked back the shot and I knew it was gold and you know told to take a chaser and so was you know people next to me so we take it and as I'm about into the first sip I know it's pickle juice but I'm not gonna be a little bitch and spit it out so I down the whole thing put my glass on the bar I look at her and I'm never ever again and there are so many people now that want me to do it because they think it tastes great no it's horrible that little pucker salty taste from ugh, ugh. Yeah, that, that reminds me of the uh, drink recipe, I believe I brought up in the pilot or the second episode, the uh, uh, cement mixer. Yes. With the Baileys and the lime yeah, that's juice. That's the second one. Yeah, and, second uh, episode. Uh, 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 yeah, the cement mixer, just save it for that guy that... Save it for a rainy day, truly. <laughs> yeah, for that people that just like, they, they're just driving you nuts at, for any w what reason that day. They're just grinding your gears. Hey, buddy, let me buy you a drink. Hey, barkeep. <laughs> Yeah, Barky. Who the fuck says Barky? But <laughs> it was an example, asshole. But I think I said. I said Barky. You have your monocle going. Look who you Hey, monocles are classy. Don't don't hit in the monocle. Uh, you got the double monocle called glasses, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Chrome. Never again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I have my moments. It's all right. Never. <laughs> but uh. Back to the whole, like, fighting and whatnot. When we were in uh, elementary school, when a fight breaks out, what does it usually consist of? Pushing? A little bit of a, little bit of a poopy head. You know, little elementary school insults. You know? Elementary school <laughs> insults. Uh, might need to throw out a suggestion, like, just see the, like, the best, like, elementary school insults. But basically that and pushing. Your mom... <laughs> I can't even think of your mom jokes or whatever. Yeah, I'm thinking of like stuff like that, like things that uh. Your mom goes to college. Jack goes to night school. Oh, you did not say that. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> exactly. Take it back. <laughs> so, you get a bloody nose, or it's, or it's one drop of blood, and then all of a sudden, everyone just all it's like scatter. We weren't a part of it. <laughs> grenade. Run! Yeah, grenade. But, run! Uh, <laughs> like maybe five years after that, like you're. Just about a uh, late elementary school, maybe middle, middle school. school. Um, two people get in a fight. Like, come on, want to fight? Yeah, I'll just run away. First off, why <laughs> are you shitting me? <laughs> Pretty much. Just, really? <laughs> do you see boxers do that? I have never seen. Here, there's a rope around you. You're in a ring. <laughs> I have never seen Mike Tyson run away. I have never seen Muhammad Ali run away. Or George Foreman, they they let's fucking do this. Like let's go. Exactly. And, and most of the people say, "Oh, I'm just going to run away and wear you out." Those people end up being the ball carrying pretty boys, as uh, my old high school football coach would say, freshman uh, football coach. Yes. And uh, and I would never someone said that to me like, "Well, what if I don't run? Well, you're fucked." <laughs> I'm built like a lion. Because I'm, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Like, I'm, I was basically bred to be a lineman, and what our linemen basically do, except, like, go in, like, a seven-second boxing match every down of every you, snap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's what we're built for. I don't <laughs> care what wide receiver it is versus whatever NFL lineman, NFL wide receiver versus NFL lineman, the lineman will basically win every single time. As my defense. Unless it's Jamarcus Webb. <laughs> <laughs> every time, because uh, I play defensive line and fullback. Um, first thing I was always told when I played defensive line, the war is bad, is fought and won in the trenches. Yes, it that's is. where it is. And that's why I loved it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see a picture of me. I didn't, you know, I grew out and then I grew up. So I, when I first played Pee Wee football, I was always on the line. And when I grew up and I actually grew into my size, I was still the smallest guy on defensive line. But I wasn't going to change it because I had so much fun taking on the big guys. It was it was just like the little Rudy Rudiger. You're like, yeah. <laughs> but it was so much fun. And if anyone, if you're listening and you say that, you know, points weren't 
points go up on the scoreboard. Wrong. I'm sorry. If the offensive lineman wasn't there to protect your quarterback or to protect your runner or whatever, so you guys can make those points, we make the ultimate sacrifice. You might look good on TV, but guess what? We automatically know who won the real battle. It's true. It, it, it just is true. It really is. Like, I might be ugly, but I still make that. <laughs> Anquan Bolden won't get 200 yards a game without Joe, people like Joe Staley. Mm-hmm. Jordy Nelson, Michael Finley won't get all the yards in the world if it's not for Dietrich Smith, uh, Newhouse, or uh, who, whoever took his place. Yeah. It all starts with the lineman, then the quarterback. Because just the key to communication in football, lineman, quarterback, and quarterback to receivers. wide receivers, mm-hmm. hike. Again. <laughs> Hike touchdown. <laughs> and right before school, I went to GameStop and bought a new game. NHL 11, because uh, I'm a Blackhawks fan, and uh, it's within 18 days of the hockey season starting up again. So yeah, I'm excited. For the, it. Uh, football on this. <laughs> Pretty much. If I could skate, I would basically be a linebacker on the ice. Like, fuck the puck. I'm hitting people. <laughs> we need to make t shirts like that, seriously. <laughs> Right, like fuck the puck, get hit, <laughs> get hit, like put your team's logo on the back, take the fall, back hurt, get indignant. Right, because uh, <laughs> this past season there were a lot of hockey fights. It was awesome. It was. I'm sorry, that's the greatest thing. You go to a hockey match, everyone hopes for a fight, yeah. no matter what. When I was at MSOE, that's all we did. Every time we saw somebody drop the gloves. First thing, everyone would just stand up and go, beat his ass. We MSOE inc- has a hockey team? Yeah. Really? We, yeah. We, I we, did not know that. We actually encourage, I will tell you this. And oh, I would. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, the entire student section, every time, we would actually encourage our team to fight. And we would just make fun and jeer at everyone who came past us. Just so all of a sudden, you know, it got him mad. We actually had a few opponents throw sticks against the glass or just kind of, you know, snap and half and throw up above us. So what do we do? We throw it back. So what does our team do? Goes back and retaliates. We had two benches cleared one time. That is awesome. We just sat there. We're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for someone to pull off their skate and hold someone start using the blade going, come on, what's up? What's up? You want to come at me? You want to come at me? <laughs> really makes me want to go to a game uh, at Madison. Oh, like, oh! I bet they're intense. Like, I have <laughs> a, we have a friend in the band, and I have, we both have a few friends out there. And as just hear stories, just the chance. Like, and the hockey team is actually rated for a number third in the nation. Really? Yeah. Wow! I so didn't even know we were that good. <laughs> oh yeah, the Wisconsin hockey team is. Wisconsin is to hockey as basically LSU is to college football. Like, oh, they're yeah. always. We got them Upers and Canucks coming down from Tap Theory. <laughs> and if you're from Minnesota, we just send you back, Theory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for a hockey season. I need a, as expensive as it would be, I want to get a custom Blackhawks jersey. Ooh. Yeah, that, that'd be pricey, but uh, that's how I am with jerseys. Like, when I would get, like, active football players' jerseys, like, they'll either, like, get retired or get traded. Like, I'm done with that. So, figure custom jersey, one name, one jersey, not have to, not have to worry one about One name, that. under the Stanley Cup, which shall not retire. <laughs> no. 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 It's mine, damn it. It's mine. <laughs> mine. <laughs> Like a little foam from a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's mine. You cannot steal it. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with them? These guys hide. How are you feeling? But <laughs> they're a professional, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. The professional, sweetheart. Far from the truth. We always kind of try sometimes. <laughs> have, our, have, have our moments, shall we say. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know about you, but uh, when I'm done with like homework or I can't sleep, sometimes I'll look up uh, compilations of like, vines and whatnot. Yeah. And that's getting really popular nowadays. And it's the topic I want to end on. And uh, the one that really, something I really noticed that vines made from black people are just so much funnier than vines made from white people. Not like, I'm not, not trying to sound racist. It's strictly an observation. Like, I just find that more amusing. I, I, yeah. <laughs> and, it's true. But kind of sad that I brought that up on Provoke. But anyway, <laughs> one that I really liked to enjoy watching is uh, Will Sasso, a former uh, Mad TV actor, mm-hmm. does a 
pretty good uh, Schwarzenegger impression. Better than what we we pulled <laughs> last episode. And uh, I'm here. Come on, kill me. And get uh, to the chopper. There's a compilation of like it's uh two minutes and forty six seconds long, and uh, we'll we're just gonna play it for you, and we're gonna provide the link to these videos. Uh, well, to this video when when this is published. So Will Sasso's Arnold Schwarzenegger driving buying compilation. Yeah, I'm driving. Yeah. Come on, go! This is bullshit! Come on, look what you're doing! You're high. You're high. Where am I? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Sweet Caroline! La, la, la. Yeah, look at this here. It's like a movie set. Alien space station maze killing aliens. Pew, pew. You're high. I'm in Canada. After you, eh? Yeah, look at this tree. Yeah, look at this here. It's like we're back in the movie set. The alien space station maze. Shoot the aliens. Pew, pew. That's not the parking spot. Yeah, look at this weird piece of shit. Come on. In the back of the van. What are you? Yeah, it's funny. We do okay. Forever in blue jeans. Hey, what the heck? Truck man, make up your mind. Yeah, watch this. Hey, I'm pulling you over. Yeah. It's funny, because it's the other way around, you know. But I guess all I have to do to get to my destination is turn right here. Yeah. Oh I know. Oh. That's what I just said. Oh. Yeah, look at the name of this street here. It's called Dick Street. That's hilarious, because the name of the dick. Yeah, this parking garage like the end of the Alien Space Station movie. Drop the bomb, get out in time. Come on. <laughs> yeah, look, it's a Honda Accord. More like Honda, according to Arnold. She get out of the way! Come on! <laughs> Your Nintendo is less on the Kito. Your Nintendo's a gay to Kito. I'm so good in Spanish. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, celebrate peace. Said, yeah, I had some beer. Let's get fucked up, baby. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. I'm driving on the water. It's a miracle. No, yeah, just kidding. It's a boat. I tricked you. Come on, let me drive. He's in a limo now. Come on, this is bullshit. All over. No, I'm not gonna put you. Yeah, come on, let me drive. Oh, this is worse than you drunk. You're drunk on the numero uno, you son of a bitch. <laughs> come on, let me drive. No way, Mr. Schwarzenegger. You're not gonna do this shit. Come on, I'm gonna drive. Yeah, look at how big this coffee is. Yeah, it's big coffee, Mr. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, it's huge. Now let me drive. No! Yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, I'm driving. Hey, Mr. Postman, I'm driving. Now let me go. Yeah, come on, let me drive. He's watching like I get fired. Yeah, I'll give you twenty two dollars. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, let me drive. This is bullshit. No, Mr. Postman. Okay, come on, just let me drive. No, no I I come on. Me... Yeah, I don't even want to drive. Good, no, good, you good. drive. Yeah, I'm right. tired. You, you drive. Come on, let me go. <laughs> and that was uh, Will Sasso's. Um, Schwarzenegger driving compilation. Will Sasso, check him out. Funny guy. Not really a friend of the show because he doesn't really know we exist. But uh, <laughs> I highly recommend you you guys checking him out. And uh, I'm basically tapped out of uh, topics for the show. Chrome Dome, I don't know if you have I any last words. I am actually tapped out. Last words. Shout out to everyone who still supports us. We thank you. We truly do. Uh, always look for better and greater input so we don't have this is actually one of our shortest shows we've been putting on right oh, now oh yeah which is kind of impressing or not impressing but impressive uh, we're what's a little more topics give us some ideas talk about the infomercial we do need to discuss that we do need to we do need that. to yes that tricks infomercial of the do's and do nots thank you Connie thank you Connie we're still looking to do that it will be coming up shortly and we'll be posting stuff on our page. Links for you guys. Share us with your friends, please. Yeah. Just want to get some people to like the page. Just And we need more ideas. Fresh ideas, the better. And like I said, we'll be putting links on there. Some funny stuff that we figure you guys will enjoy. But also get you guys smiling. Get you all a little more involved. I mean, we do have a couple people who are involved with our page. They give us input and ideas. It would be nice if we get a little bit more of a group effort. I'm not trying to lecture you. I'm just saying, thanks. <laughs> it's just nice. Please help us. <laughs> Please. For the love of God, we're just trying here. <laughs> on, on that note, I also want to say, uh, what, what did I want to say? Okay. <laughs> you have this uh, clueless look upon your I face. Do, do. <laughs> As he tries to recollect his memory and what he wanted to say. 
da 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 Oh yeah. Sorry for the delays, just school's in session and I'm an hour away from home and it's just uh, but letting you guys know that there's going to be a minor delay between episodes and editing. I'll try to get on as soon as I can. And uh, it's Friday, the Friday night, the weekend. All of you stay safe, party hard, and we'll see you next time. Chrome Dome and Rebel Rouser, signing off.